now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Good morning, this is Phil Frame in for Gina DeVecchio, and this is the view from SkyCam 8, looking out from the Portola Hotel and Spa. You can see there's quite a bit of low clouds, a lot of gray. Doesn't look like that's gonna be around too much longer. If we take a look at the situation in terms of the temperatures around the area, it's pretty typical for this time of year. We have mid 40s to mid 50s, 46 in Hollister, 54 in Soquel, 58 in Carmel Valley. That is the warmest temperature on the map. And then around the state, we have temperatures generally in the 40s and 50s north of the Tehachapi, 60s and 70s to the south. Lake Tahoe at 28, once again, the coolest temperature on the map. The situation out over the Eastern Pacific over the last 24 hours shows strong high pressure dominating the entire West Coast. And as a result, we've been getting fair weather and it looks like that pattern is gonna persist at least for the next few days. In terms of the flow, the flow is a light offshore flow, maybe a little parallel to the coast, and it looks like it is gonna continue for the next couple of days. We are seeing the, or we are expecting to see some pretty decent tropical moisture move up into Nevada, Utah, and Arizona, but it doesn't look like it's gonna affect us, although it could affect the areas to, uh, in the Tehachapi and southward. By tomorrow morning, we still ex expect to see the flow parallel to the coast, so not really an onshore flow, not really an offshore flow, just kind of a neutral flow, and it looks like that is also expected to continue right on through Monday at 11 a.m. and through Tuesday as well. So really no change in the pattern, which means we don't expect to see much change temperature wise in our neck of the woods. Now for the San Francisco Bay Area, expect to see temperatures in the 60s and 70s and low 80s today, very pleasant very typical for this time of the year. And for the Santa Cruz County area, expect to see temperatures in the 70s down near the water's edge into the 80s in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Now that is cooler than what we had yesterday, at least near the water. And in the area from Moss Landing, Watsonville out to Gilroy and Morgan Hill, we expect to see temperatures ranging from 66 in Moss Landing up to 87 in Gilroy. And here in the Salinas Valley, it looks like it'll be cooler right here in Salinas at 77. We were in the low 80s yesterday, but as you get south of Salinas, expect the temperatures to be about the same as they were yesterday. And in the Monterey Bay area, temperatures are expected to be in the 70s to 80 in Carmel Valley, 81 in Big Sur. And for the next eight days, we expect to see the fair weather pattern continue. We are expecting to see some increase in fog and low clouds Tuesday or Wednesday, and that'll drop the coastal temperatures down a bit, but still very pleasant for this time of the year. And in the inland areas, not a whole lot of change, maybe a few more clouds middle of the week, maybe a little bit cooler then, but still pretty much the same pattern. And that is how it looks for the next eight days. All right, I'm headed to Santa Cruz today, so I'm glad to see that some warm weather for me heading, I'm waiting for me over there. Yeah, it's going to be nice, it's going to be sunny, and it's going to be very pleasant. All right, thank you so much, Phil.